Hello everyone and welcome back to Wildcraft Reborn. And we are back once more with our Lynx family, composed of Stardancer and her mate Frost, as they prepare to begin expanding the family with Stardancer's news that she is actually pregnant with kits. And that's very exciting because that means another opportunity for the wolf souls from our Wolf Quest adventures to come and join us as the Starry Skies pack tries out being a lynx for once instead of being wolves but don't worry we will be returning over to lynx our wolf not to confuse you guys too much and Serena and their daughter, Dawn as well, Fawn even as well. We have like Dawn and Fawn and so many wolves in our Wolf Quest adventures. I hope you guys have had a chance to see some of them. They're quite exciting, especially with Wolf Quest 3 coming soon. And that is also where the soul of Stardancer has come from. And this is exciting because she is very playful and she still is very proud of being a wolf, even if she is in a lynx body. And she's very confident, playful, confident, not really perplexed to be in a different kind of body than her soul has come from, and very much a contrast to her mate Frost, who is very worried about all these things and doesn't really know what to make of life. He is very fretful, and the news that Stardancer is actually expecting, as you can tell from the vast amounts of experience we actually need to give her so that she can give birth to their first kit, um, has actually kind of upset Frost. He's a little distressed. He was just getting used to the idea of being a lynx and now he is going to have his very first child ever in any of his lives and it's going to be a lynx child and how will he take care of them will it be enough like what is he going to have to do to protect the family to protect his new mate to protect the baby they have on the way it's just a little bit much for him and that's why star dancer is going to take the matter of you know going out and getting a little bit of food because she's kind of a hungry pregnant lynx into her own paws she, I think she's very patient with her mate too, because Frost, he had such a short life. It's not like he had a lot of time to really figure out who he was and to develop a sense of confidence when he was a wolf, because he didn't, he didn't live very long. He lived like only a short little while as a, uh, you know what, Star Dancer, you're so heavily pregnant. I don't know if you're going to be able to catch those squirrels. We might have to go, and she's really fast too, so I think this would be very annoying for her. <laughs> she's too slow to get the squirrels. <laughs> Lee, Frost, Frost, come on buddy, you're gonna have to step up to the plate. All right, at least she managed to convince him. What? We're not in battle. Oh wait, she's moving a little faster now. Sort of, kind of, not fast enough. Frost, I think that he's too stunned. He's he's gone into being his somewhat too introspective, morose self. And he's focusing too much on that and not enough on the fact we kind of need... Oh, so slow. Frost. Frost. Look, he literally has his head down. Like, he's thinking about, like... What am I going to do? This is such a huge responsibility. And I mean, yes, he was a young wolf when he passed away, so it makes sense that he doesn't have an idea of what to do, but this is just ridiculous. Come on, Frost. Come on. All right, there we go. I think that, I think Star Dancer would be like, please get squirrel. Just step one. Go get a squirrel for us to eat and we'll start there. All right, so that's no problem. Why is this squirrel so strong? It was supposed to be no problem, and then all of a sudden the squirrel is like, nope, I actually have a lot of help. Dang it, squirrel spirit, you've been storing up all that energy, haven't you? All right, well, there's that. And where's Star Dancer? She's working her way over here. Hua, and she loves being fast, so this must be very frustrating to be so slow to her. All right, we'll let her finish off the squirrel. Come on, Star Dancer, you kind of need to eat it. All right, and actually, I think... There we go. There we go. All right, well, there's that. Maybe we can pick a fight with the raccoons because that was a little bit of energy, but it's not nearly the amount of spiritual energy, AKA experience, that we need in order to actually get some, get somewhere with this food. Okay, there we go. This is more like it. Now we can at least convince. Now his protective instincts have kicked in. 
That's all she had to do, just be chased by a very aggressive raccoon. Surely this will this will end well. Oh boy. I don't think this is gonna end well. Alright, there we go. Now he should be helping out. Hey, back off. Alright, can we eat this before the raccoon gets us? Kind of, but it's not very helpful. Please, yay, the raccoon's done! Alright, let's hurry and eat both of them. Alright, there we go. Alright, dang it, there wasn't that much energy on that one, unfortunately. But it did work! <laughs> and that is a very start answer thing to do. She actually had an opportunity, if you guys want to check out our Wolf Quest Wikia, um, there, and our wiki should have quite a few of the Wolf Quest things added in now too. But if you check that out, Start Answer had the opportunity to have some babies. She actually did have a few litters of her own, so she became more comfortable with the idea of who she is and the kind of risks that you take, and that life is about risks. It can't always be safe. And Frost is a little too caught up on, like, trying to keep things safe or, or just trying to, like, watch out for his mate. And sometimes you just have to go and, and be hungry and try to eat a fox. So let's do this. All right, and let's give him one good scratching, and that'll get our mate on him. Yeah, Frost seems to need a little bit of guidance, but once he has figured out like who he wants to be and who he wants to defend, he seems to do quite well. All right, let's stun the fox. Yeah, we're not entirely strong enough to handle this, but there we go, good. That was a good bit of experience. We're just gonna have to like go around and take down a whole bunch of the animals. And it makes sense if you're- if we are in a spiritual realm as we have been, uh, as, as our story goes, that you would need to gather up a lot of extra energy to introduce a new spirit from the starry skies and give them a body here in this realm to be able to adventure and explore in. So it makes a lot of sense that she's actually going to need so much experience. <laughs> this is going to take a hot minute to actually get through. Oh, but there's a bunch of raccoons! Wonderful! We just have to give them a good scratch, and then Frost will do the rest. Oh wait, no, those aren't raccoons. Those are bunnies. And that means that we're going to be way too slow for this. Frost, help! I think he's starting to feel better though, and kind of picking up on the idea of what he should do. All right, what on earth are all these bunnies doing here? Bunny spirits, you guys, there's so many of you. Why? All right, well, let's take him out. I think it's actually better just to go through and like jump into the middle of this pile of bunnies. There we go. There we go. And take him out, and then just stop and eat them. Even if they're gonna disappear before we can finish eating them. Yeah, you get a lot more experience just from actually actually getting rid of them because you only get like 50 experience every time you eat them. So let's go ahead and allow. There you go. That's better. See, Frost, you can provide. You can do it. Yeah, all of the other bodies disappeared. So you usually want to, if you want to eat it, you want to go one at a time. But if you want to get a lot of experience, I think taking out a whole bunch of easy ones at once is the way to go. All right, let's actually not die by this guy. Unfortunately, I don't think that we'll be able to do much. Oh boy. All right, run for it. <laughs> All right, we have to wait a minute. He can deliver enough of a blow. All right, we're gonna have to zigzag back and forth and kind of lead him towards Star Dancer and get her help at taking him out. Come on, buddy. All right, because we've bitten off a little more than we can chew. But I'm sure this will make a great meal for her if we can just avoid getting ripped apart by those tusks. Yeeps! Almost there! Come on, Star Dancer! Yeah! We did it! Oh my gosh, that was a hefty bit of food, a hefty bit of experience. And who knows, maybe Link's taking on that risk actually helps him feel better about what he's done.
Curses! It was a trap! It was a trap to a crash! Oh, that's so frustrating! We were so close. We had that big boar. We had a grand battle where Stardancer and Frost took on something a little stronger than they anticipated. And Stardancer actually did a really good job. Like, she's halfway there, taking such an aggressive lead, trying to help out with making sure that they're... I mean, she's not afraid. She might be pregnant, but she's not going to just stay in the den as a result. She's hungry and Frost was taking too long to get her food so I kind of love love that they just tore off and have just been dashing and really announcing themselves to all of the animals here that hey they're going to establish a strong lynx pack here and we'll call them all packs it'll be a horse pack it'll be a lynx pack it'll be a bear pack and the reason will be because they all have the souls of wolves after all eat one bite and then that should convince her to come down and get another. Oh, she's so slow. <laughs> I don't think she's going to make it before the body disappears. So we're just going to go ahead and eat it. There we go. And let's go ahead and get this other rabbit. And we're doing such a good job. But then when we tried to eat the boar, uh, everything went black all of a sudden <laughs> because, because it crashed. <laughs> but I like to imagine that's because the boar had like one final trick up his sleeves. All right, there we go. Come on, start answer. You can eat it. Come on. You can eat it. It's okay. All right, she doesn't want to eat bunny. She wants something else. Got it. All right, let's see. I think there's a few more bunny spirits over here that we can eat. As sad as that sounds, it is giving her a great boost. I think we're gonna see the new lynx cub be born next time for sure. All right, let's see. Oh, that's a boar. See, I knew he was tricking us. I really, I really think that it was all a, oh, here he comes. The bunnies and the boars were working together. Tricks of the boar spirits. I'm on to you. Did I even land a single blow? No, we didn't even land a single blow. What? All right, tricks of the boar spirit. I see what you're doing here, buddy. He is a really strong one. And our only option is to let poor, poor, yeah. Poor pregnant star dancer have to hoof it and help us out. I think that the boar spirit's gonna take us out, guys. I don't think that we're gonna win this one. I wonder if there's a way I can, I wish I could jump up on this rock and like use it against him. Okay, come on, we've got it. We've got to figure out a way to fight him. All right, dash back. All right, she's doing a good job, but she can only do a little bit of attacking at a time. There we go. And we're running out of energy, actually. So we've got to dash ahead. Like, way ahead. And wait for a second. And then run again. And then maybe yank him this way. Ah! This isn't going to work! The boar spirit is going to get us! This is all I can do! And then run! Oh, we're down. Ah... <sighs> All right, it looks like the boar spirit is a little bit too strong and he has allied himself with the rabbit spirits and clearly they have pulled some sort of trick on us, but we won't let them get us down. We, after all, have the strength of the Skari, the Skari Skies pack, there we go, behind us and we'll be able to make the most of this. So let's go ahead and allow our lynxes to get a little bit of rest, to heal up and to turn to the ancestors in the starry sky. Maybe we can turn to the ancestors instead and have them give us a boost to our strength and power because we definitely need it if we are going to be able to take on something like the boar spirits. They might be our, our adversaries that we have to face when we are with our lynx pack, just like there are the fox spirits who are constantly harassing and trying to outsmart our wolf pack when we are with lynx the wolf and Serena the wolf pack. So let's go ahead and let them have their dreams tonight and they neither of them have legendary skins right now which means that we only get one dream each oh hey cool oh look at that 
it's almost like the starry skies ancestors are telling our lynxes that it is important to remember to rest after all and we got a duplicate hat for a bear so maybe a little bit of being cheered on by grandpa atlas who we still haven't unlocked because we haven't unlocked the bear yet and a little bit of an elixir which will actually help us when it comes to giving a bit more strength to maybe star dancer she is pretty strong but we do have a little bit more confidence, so I might add more power or speed to uh, to Frost, but we'll have to see. All right, and then Star Dancer's dream tonight is... Dun, dun, dun. Legendary, legendary, legendary. Oh, cool! Whoa! Look at that! She just dreamed of the really rare Lynx statue. That is so cool. She really must be comfortable as a Lynx. That's amazing. And we got a black bear skin, which is going to be great for when we actually have access to the bears. Uh, but with that said, we now have a lot of experience. So I think I'm going to actually add... Let's add one speed and we'll give a little bit more help to Frost to show that he's getting a little more confident. And I think I'm going to give him one power as well. I'm going to give one power. Oh, uh, no, I'm out. <laughs> I was going to give one power to start answer, but I used it all up. And then one more speed to Frost then so that he can really try to kind of improve a little bit and help to protect and watch over his mate. So, all right, that is what our wonderful Lynxes have achieved today. And start answer is over here and she's going to get a little bit of rest because she is expecting our lynx cub and we should or lynx kit i should say and so we are expecting a new member to the family at some point here and who it will be remains a mystery i would love to know in the comments if you guys could kind of shout out from the starry skies who you would choose to send down into the new lynx body if you were going to choose one of our former wolves from our wolf quest series so you can act as the starry skies pack and suggest a spirit that we should send down and we shall choose randomly from among them when it is time to add the new addition to our family. So, if you guys would like to join our Starry Skies pack, do please consider subscribing. And if you could leave a little bit of support for our wonderful Lynxes by leaving a like, it would mean so, so much to me. And I have to say, I am continually impressed by Star Dancer's adaptation into the life of a wild Lynx. I wonder if one day in the future, we might see her or one of her children from here end up in our Shelter 2 realm Mm, to have even more lynx cubs once more that would be very beautiful i think but all right we still have adventures to do here and we shall continue on with them next time so i'll see you guys then Bye bye